Amberly Rowdybush from Amphitheater High School. Larkin-esque by Michael Ryan. Reading in the paper, a summary of a five-year psychological study that shows those perceived as most beautiful are treated differently. I think they could have just asked me. Remembering a kind of pudgy kid in late puberty, the bloody noses and wisecracks because of our glasses. Though we all know how I know how awful it is for the busty star that no one takes seriously. The loveliest ladies I've lunched with lamenting the opacity of the body. They can never trust a man's interest, even when he seems not to stop for sex. Eyes focus on me above rim of wine glass. And who would want to live a life like this? And what does beauty do to a man? Don Juan, Casanova, Lord Byron, those fiery eyes and steel jawlines can't front a furnace of self-loathing. All those breathless women rushing to him while hubby's at the office at ball game, primed and consumed by his beauty while he stands next to it, watching. So maybe the looks were dealt their best. It's only common sense that happiness depends on some bearable deprivation or defect. And who knows what cruelties we might have suffered from those now friends. What unmanageable possibilities smiling at every small turn. So, if I get up to draw a tumbler or ordinary tap water and think, what if this were <coughs> nectar dripping from delicious burning fingers? Will all I've missed knock me senseless? No, of course not, it wouldn't.